All right, greetings everyone. This is Ronnie Crudup Jr., uh, a resident of South Jackson in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, I am here today with Dr. Uh, Willie Killens. Uh, appreciate you having being here, Mr. Killens. Well, and uh, you. we wanted to kind of do an interview with Dr. Killens today to talk about Wingfield and the needs here at Wingfield High School. We know that they just celebrated, uh, or still celebrating, the 50 year anniversary of the school, which was started in 1966. Correct. And we're excited about all the alumni that came out uh, to the homecoming festivities last week. And a number of you all got the push card about the 50 year uh, fundraising campaign, the 50 for 50. And we want to explain that a little bit more and then let Dr. Killens kind of show us the needs of really what Wingfield has and those kind of top three to five things that the money and the funds will be used for. Now, the goal is to raise $50,000, uh, a minimum of $50,000, but we feel like we can far exceed that number to try to get Wingfield the place they need to be. So Dr. Killens, if you can explain to us uh, the needs here uh, and what you have on the board, to kind of talk about what do you need to try to use these funds for to make the school and the students successful. Absolutely, and I want to say thank you, uh, Mr. Crew, for all of the work that you have put into uh, trying to come back and give back and help. I want to say thank you to all of the alumni, all of the alumnus that came and made that event uh, exceptionally um, strong. No problems whatsoever. We, just positive energy all over uh, South Jackson from what the people came together uh, to do. So we say thank you to all the local businesses, to all the alumni, to Councilman Hendrick, everyone. Thank you very much. Amen. Now, we have a very real situation here at Wingfield, not just um, at Wingfield, but South Jackson, but more so concentrated here. And it deals with teaching and learning. So our most immediate needs deal with teaching and learning. In a nutshell, we get a large number of students that come over age under credited. What that equates to our kids that have not passed the state test by the time that they should with their cohort. Uh, a lot of times they age out and may drop out. So we are in a situation right now <clears throat> where we have 166 students approximately some of them are returning testers that have not passed the state test and will not be able to be issued a diploma. Out of that 166, approximately 40 are cleared. So it leaves about 120 plus students that are in a very gray area where they must pass either one, two, three, or all four of the state tests to be able to graduate. The test will only be given one time this year. Um, to offer enough time for us to calculate scores and find out who passed to graduate. That will be the last week in November, first week in December, so time is of the essence. We are looking to get a number of tutors. We have some certified staff here on the campus that are very capable of helping these students cross the, the, the bridge towards success. However, we need help to compensate them at a level where it is fair and it brings out the professionalism in, the, in, in them. So we talked about $20 an hour for these teachers at the Saturday academies that we do. Now, Wingfield, we host a, break, a pancake breakfast from 8 to 9 a.m. And then from 9 to 12, they would receive tutorial services based on each one of these categories. English 2 tests, Algebra 1 tests, Biology 1 tests, U.S. History tests to help them get ready. Now, if the students do not pass the test, their next piece is scoring at least a 17 or 18 within the content areas on the ACT that align to these particular areas on the state test. There is an educational software called Plato. Sometimes it goes by the name of Edmentum. They have an ACT component. We looked at it very strongly this summer, but were unable to purchase enough licenses um, to get over the hump and ran into some red tape with the district. If we're able to purchase these licenses using funds from an outside entity, it makes the game different. We can provide these 166 students with a license to do ACT tutoring with the teacher and online. Um, so the seniors that would benefit from this 
would benefit immediately because we will have this software. It would be for a year subscription. subscription. So that means the seniors that finish, we can now use the licenses for the junior class going into the summer, which is where they really ought to begin taking the test and being serious about it. And I can even go further back where they really ought to be taking the ACT. But this helps us to backwards map and to address this huge issue of um, educational disenfranchisement that we have going on. As a function of all of this, we also have a great need for laptops. In the past, Wingfield had a SIG grant for schools that were in need of, great, of improvement. That grant allowed Wingfield to purchase some uh, technology, but that technology is old now, gone, lost, or stolen. We need 90 laptops that can be used for testing purposes, that can be used for students to use with credit recovery to help them get over the hump and to be able to use throughout these platforms identified up here. We also have a great need for graphing calculators. We estimated 20 graphing calculators will help us get over the hump with regard to testing instead of us having to test kids in clusters and break down the testing period. These 20 calculators will help us become more seamless with that. At unfortunately high costs of 80 to 90 dollars per calculator. Um, so these are our most immediate needs. What else would we like to do? We'd like to move toward creating a falcon nest. We have a room that could use some real paint, um, a real strong power source, and then what we can do is highlight the academies that we have here at Wingfield High School. So um, some paint, some manpower, creating a power source, 220 would be absolutely fantastic if we can get a couple of 220 plugs in there so that we can actually do some light cooking and, and coffee making and things that would make the Falcon Nest a place for the community to use at any time and all the time. Number five, if we can have a wish list, we'd love to do have a development league for building up our band, reaching into the elementary and middle schools and having a league that can go on during Saturday academies or after school along with sports to build up our sports. Those students who didn't make the um, varsity teams or the junior varsity team or the freshman team have a chance to develop um, and have something to look forward to extracurricularly that will enhance scholastic activity. Well, you heard it first from Dr. Killers himself, and so uh, we appreciate you, Dr. Killers, all the work you got going on here. Now, like I said, we all saw the immediate needs from the homecoming uh, with the first the band and things like that, and we definitely know we want to get to that. But if the kids are not really making those scores and being able to pass these tests, there won't be any band or anything. And so we would ask you all to please donate. You know, we're just asking for a minimum of $50 from every alumni that could possibly do it, or a friend of Wingfield High School to give that $50 to be able to help us reach this goal to be able to make Wingfield the place it needs to be. It's not going to be going toward us uh, personally. It's going to be going strictly toward the school and, uh, and for the kids. And so uh, go to uh, that, that page, New Horizon Ministries page, that new uh, newhmi.org and hit the donate button there or send a check and uh, Please help make this possible. We can do what all we can to help these kids and our uh, wing field succeed. So uh, please help us in that effort. Thank you so much, Dr. Killings, and uh, happy to hear in uh, Wingfield celebrating 50 years, the 50 for 50 campaign. Please help. Thank you.